when you hear about these algae blooms in the water, how concerned are you as a dog owner? Very concerned. Samantha Rivera likes to walk her dog along Buffalo's Outer Harbor, but she is so worried about toxic algae that she will not let her dog drink lake water. We have a bottle of water that we always carry with us. A New York State DEC map shows there have been several reports this summer of possible harmful algal blooms in places like Chestnut Ridge Park, Bear Lake, and multiple reports in Chautauqua Lake. Anders Kane lives by Chautauqua Lake. Pretty big concern. Like I said, I just keep them away from it. So once it starts to become a problem. There is even a sign at Hoyt Lake in Delaware Park warning people that conditions could allow the growth of dangerous blue-green algae. Well, I keep her on a leash and have her stay by me. I always ask people before I go in any water now. Hey, Ben, come here. For dog owners like Claudia Anderson, that means making sure her dogs stay away from the water. I know the, that it's toxic if they ingest it or if they touch it. Toxic algae blooms are a growing problem because the algae feed on sewage plant discharge and farm fertilizer runoff. You have a bloom, it usually indicates that there's, there's some kind of imbalance, right? Maybe there's too many nutrients. Um, like phosphorus is often a culprit. Weather conditions this year also raise concerns about a large bloom in the western basin of Lake Erie. Uh, there's concern that the bloom could either grow towards the east, towards us, or be transported towards us. Congressman Brian Higgins is worried about toxic algae blooms coming to this side of Lake Erie. He's now calling on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to expand a pilot program that showed success in Florida controlling toxic algae to the shores of Lake Erie. It's going to be a bigger problem next year if we don't aggressively uh, challenge the growth of algae blooms. Weather plays a very important factor, and now that the temperatures are starting to go down, experts tell us it will slow down the reproduction rate of toxic algae. At Hoyt Lake in Delaware Park, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.